Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So in today's episode, I want to find a very powerful weapon. Now one of the weapons I've had recommended to me many a time is the Halibut Cannon. Now I said in a previous episode that I don't really want to use it because I don't want to break my progression too much. Well, I think it's time to actually check this amazing weapon out. So we're doing things differently. We are starting today's episode off with a little bit of farming. And then if I actually manage to achieve it to get this rare weapon that is incredibly rare, we will use it and have some fun with it today. That is my promise to you. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing great. I'm going to be bringing back my uh, my vlogs tomorrow, I think. I didn't want to do one today because I still kind of look like a, a mess because obviously I was ill and, uh, and being ill makes you look a bit like a mess. Uh, I don't really want to do the Aquatic Scourge right now, so I'm just going to leave you be, my dude. So what we're doing is we are basically just farming away for enemies. Just farming away. Can you please leave me alone? I do not want to hurt you. If I if I hurt this thing, it's going to start the fight. I don't really want to do that. I want to get down into the area where I'm not being poisoned. Can you please stop following me? So I'm going to bring them back tomorrow, though. And it's kind of funny because I've only done three of them, and we actually got our first offer of a brand deal for jewelry, of all things. And I just thought, what a fit. So, so I just thought that was really interesting. I had to share that. Okay, it's super dark right now. Okay, so what we have to do is essentially just farm away. And can I make a breathing pocket here? Does that work? No? I'm sorry, I cannot see game. So it's, oh yeah, okay, I have got a breathing pocket. These enemies are like spawning on me. I could do with torches as well. Sorry it's so dark, everyone. I hope you're all all right. I hope you can see something. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill around here and farm away. And I'll bring you along in a little bit. And, uh, and I'll show you what's going on. But I'm literally just going to be farming just for as long as I can. Because it can drop from any enemy. It's very rare. But we will see. Oh, okay. Right. So I got it. <laughs> That took about like half an hour. That's kind of like a hard weapon to farm for. I thought it was going to be, I don't know, everyone said, oh, it's rare. But I thought it would be a little bit easier than that. So one of the great things about being down here is, well, I've died a couple of times. But I actually managed to get a bunch of money actually saved up. So I'm very happy for that. Now, what is this weapon? It's called the Halibut Cannon. And as you can tell... It is, in fact, a reference to Total Biscuit. So, let me just take a moment to say, rest in peace, Total Biscuit. You'll definitely be missed. I remember being in New York, hearing about his death, and just being so sad. Yeah, it was awful, because obviously he's a bit of a legend. I grew up watching him, and uh, and I never really spoke about that. But, yeah, what a, what a really fantastic dude. I, I always thought he was great. Right. What we need is an endless musket pouch. So what I'm really hoping from this weapon is that it's overpowered. I'm really hoping it's OP. Like, ridiculously OP because I want something OP at the minute. Like, I've been having, like, a rough few days, feeling ill. I want something that's crazy. And apparently, what actually happens with this weapon is that it will upgrade itself throughout your adventure. And one of the last upgrades that happens is when you beat Moonlord. So I thought, what a really appropriate time to actually test out a very OP weapon right before the Moon Lord. So then that way, you know, it's not necessarily balanced, but it's a little bit more balanced. Like, I can imagine there are weapons in Calamity that you can get through, like, various crafting methods that could kind of, like, match this. But I love it. I think it's ace. This is so good. I wonder what it's like with a Reforge, though. That's, that's, that's going to be interesting to see. And imagine if you paired this up with uh, with different types of bullets. The only thing I will say is that I feel like it's clipping the audio because it's got a bit too much uh, bass to it. But other than that, it's pretty good. Right, have I got any more Zerg potions? I'm going to bang another Zerg potion on and let's see how we do. Let's smash through this. Because I don't really enjoy these pillar events, as all of you know. I, I find them to be so annoying. So I really wanted something... Just overpowered, because why not? I mean, I'm dying here, but I feel like this weapon is pretty well suited for now. 
Like, I feel like I've, I've definitely got it at an appropriate time. So I just took down two more towers so that we can get them out of the way. I don't know if we will necessarily do Moon Lord today, but I have two topics that I feel like I want to discuss because they might be interesting to any of you. So let's start. First, I'm going to start with this. So I'm actually planning, hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to do this yet, but I'm hopefully planning to take another trip in a couple of weeks. I want to go back to New York. I know it seems like I have this mad obsession with that city. I do. That That is kind of the truth. But uh, part of the reason is actually because, and this is really awesome. This is like an absolute dream for me. My like childhood best friend actually moved over there a couple of weeks ago. And he's there for a couple of months. So I thought it'd be really awesome to go and basically surprise him while he is there. And one of the reasons I want to go so badly is because Christmas in New York sounds amazing. It sounds like the most romantic, cliche, you know, nostalgia-inducing thing I've ever heard of. And I thought, what a great time, because I've obviously started up my little vloggy kind of content. How amazing would it be to go and, uh, to go and do something like that and to bring everyone along? So... I looked it up, and apparently two days out of the month, it snows in December. How amazing would that be? So, if you are a New Yorker, because I know that you're out there, let me know. How likely am I to see some snow when I get there? Apparently, it snows more in January, February, but I can't go then. So, let's check out these goodie bags. We have an absolute ton of them. We really do. I've earned these, and I'm proud of them. There's a lot there. Can we favorite this and uh, and just dump all of these in here? Deposit all. Yeah, cool. We got the uh, the alien one. We got some other stuff as well. We actually had so many of those little abyss crafting items. I think that's so sick. So the other thing I want to talk about is just how strange it is as a YouTuber and as a fan of YouTube to watch what's going on at the minute. And what I'm talking about is PewDiePie and T-Series. So, to give a little bit of context, when I was... How old would I have been? God. Um, <laughs> 10 years ago. So, I was 11. I remember being 11, and YouTube had been out about three years at this point. You know, I was making videos, right? They're, they're not around anymore. They're were, they were really bad. I used to make uh, little sketch videos, and uh, they were terrible. But I remember being uh, whatever age I was, and watching is the first ever channel passed over the amazing milestone of a million and i remember watching the first ever channel hit half a million which is something we're going to come up to on chippy gaming which would be pretty amazing um and it's so strange because i watched the first channel for million i watched the channel that beat that i watched the channel that beat that and we have pewdiepie now who is uh who's currently on 68 million as we make this video and it's just crazy to see that some faceless company has risen up so fast and just completely dethroned the guy at the top in such a short amount of time. We're talking about a year of time. Like, that's crazy. Like, as, as a fan of the platform, it's awful to watch. It really is. Like, and it's a great little meme at the minute, I've got to be honest. It's kind of nice tracking all of it. But it is strange to see, you know, as a fan of, a, as a fan of the platform, it's weird to see the face of the number one being some soulless company it's so strange but i've got to say i've got to be honest right the uh the original channel with a million subscribers i don't know if anyone here will remember this but it was a channel called fred which was about this guy called lucas Krushank, who would put on like a silly voice and uh and just talk a bunch of nonsense it was a very strange channel it was a very strange time i've got to say why do you always break yeah, it was, it was all very strange. Right, let's grab some of these. <coughs> because what we're making now is bullets. And I also wanted to make something for the Moon Lord if I do a first attempt, which I'm probably going to do. Have I got my ranged helmet on? I have. Right, I didn't get my... Uh, I didn't put my... Blah, 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 blah. I put my weapon away and I need it back. Halibut cannon. Okay. There we go. So that's all I want to talk about. But both very strange topics. Well... Not really linked. That's why they're strange. Murderous. I'll take murderous. And I'm also wearing a helmet. So let's put on the di uh, the die effect amulet. 
I reforged all of my accessories back, by the way. <laughs> I wasn't leaving them as violent for too long. That was a bit of a, a bit of a bad one. Oh, I didn't make my uh, my bullets. One second. Halloween is right around the corner. I was asking you guys what you all do the other week, and uh, and I said obviously I watch um, I watch Halloween films and stuff like that. And apparently there have been two decent things that have been added to Netflix to Halloween, and I'm kind of excited for both. One of them is called The Haunting of Hill Manor or whatever. I think that's the name of it. I'm kind of excited for that. Maybe you guys can let me know. Is it any good? Um, and then the other one, this is completely like changing, um, not changing genre, but changing pace. The other one I want to watch is a, is a show that's a remake of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That sounds a little bit mad to say. But uh, there used to be a show called Sabrina the Teenage Witch when I was a kid. And it was about Sabrina. She was a teenage witch. She had two grandmothers. And she had a cat. I think it was called Sebastian. A black cat that could talk. Anyway, it was a decent show. And I watched it because I had older sisters. And we oh my god. And when you have older sisters, you kind of like get into like things like that. You know, your taste definitely changed. Because I got a lot of older sisters. I got a few of them. But they've, they've made a remake of it. And I'm genuinely, like, very excited to watch it because it looks good. It looks good. It looks like a 2018 show. It looks like a fun little, um, kind of, like, simple horror in a way. And I think it's going to be really good. But I will let you know about that in days to come. Tell you what was good, though. Doctor Who, or Doctor Who, as I always kind of mention. Yeah, really good episode of Doctor Who. I really liked it. It was about, um... Spiders in Sheffield. In Sheffield, it's so funny, right? I'm going to get a lot of flack for this if you're from Britain. But I just hate Sheffield. There are Terraria YouTubers from Sheffield, and they know I hate Sheffield. It's just bad. It's a bad place. It's a dirty city. It really is. Um, but it was about spiders in Sheffield, which is kind of mad. It was a good concept. I'm going to die, and I don't really want to die. No, 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 no. Okay, block the laser. Yes. Legend. That is so good. I'm dying, by the way, because I didn't properly heal before I started this fight. And it's really kind of uh, come back to bite me almost. The thing is, you don't want to get too far away from this because it will actually uh, despawn. What I could do with is like, yeah, that was never going to happen. What I could have done with is a little bit of health and a little bit more preparation. So I'm going to use some of my things and actually redo this because, you know, it's, it's a Moon Lord fight at the end of the day. We need to do it properly. So, let's make some... Can I make these po... Right, I'm just looking real quick. Actually, I'm not going to make that. I'm going to make the... What's it called? Oh, uh, Luna? What is it called? M medallion thingy? Madoodle? Oh, God, I can't remember what this thing is called. I know what to do. Galaxical singularities or whatever. These things... Celestial Sigil. <laughs> That's it. Celestial Sigil. Okay. Alright, let's bang one of them out. Let's heal up. Let's actually grab some health this time and play it a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more uh, sensibly. Sensibly? A little bit smarter, I guess. That'd be the word. <coughs> yeah, let's do this properly. Because this is, in fact, an important fight. Let's go, Moon Lord. I wasn't going to do this today. I actually wasn't. I was going to let you guys build out a setup. I know that today's episode is a bit of a short one, and I don't want to leave you guys hanging, especially because I've been, you know, I've missed two days this week because I've been ill. So I don't want to keep um, messing up, essentially. All right. Are you going to begin? Moon Lord, you take so long. I hope they change this in 1.3.6 because this is annoying. I think they are going to, though. I think I read that somewhere. Come on. <laughs> this takes so long. I am ready for this. There we go. Right, let's get us started. Right, this is a this is a boss setup, I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty uh, easy fight though, let's be real these days. Here we go. We Okay, okay. Alright, we just gotta wait for this eye to open up one more time. Alright, come on, big eyeball. There we go. Alright, let's focus in on it. 
If I can get it out in one go, that'd be amazing. No, I didn't. Okay. That's fine. We just got to wait on this one more time. Just got to be really careful with my health, though, because I don't actually know how hard some of these things hit. Okay, there we go. Right, that's uh, one half of Moon Lord done. Right, let's open up this eyeball. Let's get this part open. Is this part open? Yep, there we go. And we're on to the core. It's not a bad Moon Lord fight. The only thing I'm going to have to do is actually uh, re-farm for those uh, fragments or whatever. Oh, and I have to... Do I have to kill the true eyes to, uh, to kill this fight? Oh, I do. I do. I forgot about that. Subtle little changes. That's what gets you. God, I remember this in death mode. I remember thinking, please just let me kill this thing. Because what you have to do is you have to kill like the various eyes multiple times, don't you? And then open up the core. I think that's how it works. Okay. No, don't take damage. Don't take damage. There we go. There's adrenaline. Adrenaline and the halibut cannon. Wee, we're doing this in the name of TB. What a legend. Right, there we go. Well done to us. Clap along. Hey. Sorry, I'm just feeling really confident about that. That was good. So what did we get? Did we get a, uh, a treasure bag? We did? Okay, cool. We got a celestial onion. Adds an extra accessory slot. So very cool indeed. Open this up. We got a portal gun. Very cool. And we also got some Luminite and a Meow Mia. And that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. Just want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, if you do want to have me check out something at the very start of pre-post Moon Lord, uh, do let me know. Right, see you all in the next one, guys. Peace. And this is now insane, right? Yeah, it's insane. Amazing.